Hey everybody, this is Johnny Guru, and today we're going to be talking about cables, and we're going to be testing cables on the Sun Moon Tester, which is that grinding noise that you hear in the background, the very loud uh, fans on the Sun Moon Tester. I already have it running and ready to go. Um, so the reason for this video is because there's a lot of controversy on whether you should use pigtail cables or not. Um, the thing is, is wire gauge plays a huge part in the uh, durability or the capability of the cable right so um, we're going to test different configurations using different cables for example this is a 16 gauge cable and you can see it's very stiff but that is because it's very thick wire okay so it's going to have the least amount of resistance and we're going to test it from one to one check the voltage and then we're going to test it with the pigtail and see what the voltages are like so in addition to the 16 gauge cable i went on amazon and I got this 18 gauge cable. And it was really funny in the product description, they claim that this was better than the stock cables, but you can see it is very flexible, 18 gauge. So I don't imagine this is gonna perform well. And using this as a pigtail is probably the reason why so many people say don't use pigtails because this cable is, I mean, you could just feel it's no bueno. Um, surprisingly, it was expensive, it was $10. Um, Whereas I can get a stock cable with 16 gauge wire for like five. So it's almost as if they had to throw that marketing in there saying they were better than stock cables uh, to justify the $10 cost, but uh, it's not better than stock cables. Um, so anyway, um, the other thing I'm going to test is extensions because the same people that say don't use pigtails say it's okay to use extensions, which I find ironic. Um, so I bought this and this is supposed to be 18 gauge, but I'll tell you what, this thing is like overcooked spaghetti. It is very floppy. Um, I, I don't know what's going on here, but one of the things I'm gonna do towards uh, the end of this uh, project is cut all these open and take a look at the actual copper um, to see uh, the, if the copper thickness is. Because sometimes you can get something that feels like this that's actually 18 gauge, but it's using a, a very thin uh, uh, insulating jacket. Um, it makes it very flexible. To give you a, uh, a reference point, a lot of people like the uh, silicone uh, insulation jackets because um, they're very thin, but they still meet flammability requirements, um, you know, and, and, and temperature requirements. So um, you can get this flexibility out of your cable, but uh, without sacrificing the uh, quality of the insulation but given th how much these cost and this is a very popular brand this is not some cheap brand off of alibaba this was um we'll, we'll just call it um arctic unicorn okay uh, so we're not you know diminishing anybody's brand in particular um very popular brand um so i got a set of these and we're going to test that as well So here we are at the Sun Moon Tester. Looks familiar, right? My apologies ahead of time for the flickering display. The uh, refresh rate of these uh, uh, LEDs here uh, do not sync with the frame rate of um, any camera I found. Uh, so that's why every time you see a Sun Moon on camera, it looks like it's uh, flashing. Uh, so I guess also I should uh, put in the uh, epilepsy warning here too, as well. So um, I'm gonna explain what's, what's going on here so far. Um, so currently we have on the 24 pin 6.25 amps that represents uh, 75 watts that would be going through the PCIe slot right and then 12.5 amps each would be representative of the 150 watts that PCI SIG says that you can deliver with a 8 pin <clears throat> excuse me 8 pin PCIe express connector okay so those are our loads and then if we go to voltages um, and I, I already have this running on a 16 gauge pigtail with the pigtail connected. Okay. So we have a control here. I'm going to call this a control 12.21 volts. So that's the voltage at the power supply. No load, no resistance, just straight up. That's what the power supply um, is, is outputting. And then over here, this is the uh, drop in voltage from 12.21 to 12.14, um, we'll say, because it's bouncing between 1.3 and 1.5. Um, so this is your 24 pin and this is being caused by the, uh, the drop here is being caused by the fact that there is that 75 watt load, um, and the 24 pin only has two 12 volt wires on it. Okay. And then moving on to your 16 gauge wire, you can see here, the bottom one is the first connector and then the top one is the pigtail. And that makes sense, right? Because, you know, this is, 
this is the added 150 millimeters of resistance of that that pigtail cable and so you can see here there is a bit of a drop from all these voltages here uh, because of the different loads more load more resistance more resistance the voltage goes down but because we're over 12 volts um, the graphics card should not be pulling any additional current okay so an interesting thing you'll see here um, to start this experiment um, is that we have uh, the pigtail on here now and we're going to see an immediate difference in voltages when i just unplug the pigtail here now watch the uh watch this one right here it should jump up see that jumped up quite a bit now it's actually the same voltage as the uh, 24 pin um so yeah the, the putting twice the the power on a single cable definitely causes enough resistance to cause the voltage to drop that's just common sense ohm's law whether it's enough to actually impact any kind of performance well that's why we're here today so this is again the 16 gauge wire i'm going to be logging these results on my notepad also i have three of each cable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this test three times with each cable the 18 gauge 16 gauge and the extensions um, and then average them out because you want to rule out certain things like um, damage terminals or, or anything like that, right? You don't want to just take one set of cables, assume they're perfect, and then do the testing and assume that this is the results that everybody's going to get. So just as an FYI, I will be doing this test three times on each cable, three different cables, okay? So this is the 16-gauge um, cable, and I will be taking a little break here and logging these numbers and switching this out for the 18 gauge cable and let's see what those results look like. Okay, we have now switched out to our 18 gauge cable. And I'll tell you what, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, so right now it's plugged in with the pigtail. And we're still over 12 volts. Now obviously it's, it's lower it's lower by quite a bit than the 16 gauge. Um, remember the 16 gauge cable we were seeing 12.11 um, uh, on the first connector and 12.09 on the second connector. And so here you can see we're seeing 12.04 on the first connector and 12.03 on the second connector. So definitely a voltage drop. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a lot better than I thought it was. I thought I'd plug this 18 gauge wire in there and see it go below 12 volt. So I'm actually surprised that it's as high as it is. Although yes, again, 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 significant voltage drop considering that the only thing that changed here was the gauge of the wire um, the power supply is the same the 24 pins the same the EPS I'm using for control is the same in fact you can see it still says 12.21 just like it did in the last test so you know that you know that's that's consistent um, so we're not playing with any variables here um, and then of course you know the 24 pin is still bouncing around between 1213 and 1215 like it was before. So the only thing that's changed here is I've changed it 16 gauge to an 18 gauge wire and we have dropped from 12.09 or I'm sorry 12.11 and 12.09 to 12.04 and 12.03. All right so it's bouncing between 03 and 02. Now we're going to do that thing again where I unplug the pigtail and let's see if this voltage jumps up and uh, if so how much. Wow! That's why people are telling you not to pigtail. Did you see that? I unplugged the pigtail and it jumped up to 12.14 volts. Okay, that's still not as high as the 16 gauge wire, obviously, because 16 gauge wire is a lot less resistance. Remember the 16 gauge wire, when it dis disconnected the pigtail, jumped up to 12.17. But this is, you know, 12.14, it's pretty significant jump from where we were before. And if you want to see that again, so here we're at 12.14. I'm going to plug in the pigtail and let's watch it drop. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Boom. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Massive drop there. So yeah, I would have to say if you're using 18 gauge wire, don't use pigtails. Duh. All right. <laughs> so um, I'm still confident that if you're using um, 16 gauge wire, you're fine because you you, you saw in the earlier part of the video that uh, the, the voltage was much higher and the drop was less significant. So now let's move on to the extensions. Okay, so now we have our, 
Arctic Unicorn extension cable plugged in. Um, and obviously I'm not doing a pigtail because that would be that would be bad. I would probably start a fire. So, um, but we're using the 18 gauge wire right now because I didn't want to have to shut down and unplug um, and switch back to the 16 gauge. So keep in mind that first test was 16 gauge. The second test was 18 gauge and now we're 18 gauge with the extension and then the next one will be 16 gauge with extension. So let's have a look at what's going on here. So we still, um, well actually we're up to 12.22 here. I'm not sure what's going on there. So that's 0.01 higher than it was before. Um, that could be just because it's warming up. Um, you know, still 12.15 on the 24 pin. Um, now keep in mind, we're not using the pigtail. When we had no extension here, right? We had no extension here. That was 12.14 volts. Now we're at 12.08 volts. That's the same cable. We just added this extension and it dropped that much. So you can see where uh, extensions can be pretty, pretty scary. Actually, I think I'm gonna do something here that I probably shouldn't do. Uh, let's see, let's get another extension. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up <clears throat> the pigtail to an extension and see if I can get this voltage to drop below 12 volts. So here we go, plug this bad boy in. Ugh, wrong way, John. All right, there you go. Okay, here we go. Oh man, get the fire extinguishers ready. Here we go. I'm scared. If I can't even plug it in, I can't even plug it in. Oh shoot, you know what? That's not even the right cable. Oh, look at that. They let you, uh, huh, they let you plug a EPS-12V into a PCIe. That's not good. That's a good way to, to fry stuff. That's serious. That was an EPS 12A and it plugged into the PCIe, no problem. That should not be doable. All right. So here's our second PCIe. Let's get the 8 pin on here. Arctic Unicorn, I think this is a good name. I guess. All right. <laughs> oh man. I probably should let this run overnight and see if I can burn these cables up. Well, there you have it, guys. Pigtails with extensions. Drop below 12 volts. Kind of saw that coming. Kind of saw that coming. Okay, so now let's move to the 16 gauge with the pigtail. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, 16 gauge with the extension, rather. I'm not going to do this again with the 16 gauge again. I don't have a fire extinguisher nearby, so I don't want to get too crazy. Okay, now we are set up with a 16 gauge cable with an 18 gauge extension. Yeah, it's pretty much better than so it's better than the 18 gauge with the extension obviously um, it's obviously not as good as 16 gauge with no pigtail um, but it's not as bad as uh, it's not as bad as even the 16 gauge with the pigtail uh, with the pigtail because remember if I did the 16 gauge with the pigtail I saw 12.09 volts, okay? Now here, I'm not using a pigtail, but I am using the extension, and we're seeing 12.12 .12 volts. So, not as much of a drop as the extension, I mean, I'm sorry, as the pigtail, even though the extension adds so much length and uh, is 18 gauge. So, there you go, surprise, surprise. So here we go, we'll run through the numbers here again. 12.22 is our control, right? That's the voltage at the power supply. And we've got our 12.15 at the 24 pin. That's got the 75 watt uh, load on it. Okay. And then there's our 12.12. .12. That's the 16 gauge wire with the extension on it, with the 18 gauge extension. Um, so definitely better than the 18 gauge. Remember the 18 gauge was 12.08 volts. Um, and to run through the, the history again, this cable without the pigtail and without the extension was 12.17 with the pigtail was 12.09. The 18 gauge without the pigtail was 12.14. And with the pigtail is 12.03. So there we go. So now, like I said, I'm going to repeat this test 3X to make sure that my numbers are consistent with different uh, cables from different batches. And, uh, and then we'll do some more testing.
Okay, quick update here. I've gone through all my uh, different combinations three times over, and the numbers are all pretty close. Um, biggest deviation would be, for example, this right now is a 16 gauge with the pigtail. Um, and previously, I was getting 12.11 uh, and 12.09 volts. Uh, apparently, this cable is better because I got 12.11 and 12.10 volts. But what's uh, you know what's 0.01 volts between friends? So, um, so. Let's go ahead and uh, do some more testing. This time I'm going to see what these cables impacts would be in an actual system, you know, because people want to know what, all these voltage differences here. What do they mean to my graphics card? What are they going to mean to my, to my benchmarks? So that's the next step. I decided to do one more quick test since uh, I bought the extensions as a kit. Went ahead and used the 24 pin cable because I wanted to see with that 75 watt load on the 12 volt uh, what kind of voltage drop we'd see using the extension. There's the extension. And you can see where we used to have 12.15 volts is now dropped to 12.09. So that's what we're seeing just because we added the extension. So we are seeing uh, that's a pretty big drop actually, right? 6.06, .06, 0 .06 volts drop uh, just by adding uh, an extension cable. So just FYI.